What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Midas and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cartoon profile for your YouTube channels like the one you see on the screen right now. So hang with me and let's get this party started. <music> So we begin by opening up Photoshop. As soon as you have Photoshop open, you want to open up whatever file or whatever picture that you're going to be converting into a cartoon. For me, I already have an image from my desktop, which I'm just going to import. As you can see right now, it's just me sitting on the counter in the kitchen. I use this picture for my Instagram page because I, I, I don't know if I've already told you guys that I do run uh, a fitness Instagram page. You can check it out if you are interested in fitness, but that's besides what we're doing right now. The next thing we want to do is we want to we convert this image into a cartoon because I just want to use like, you know, just this part of it to make my YouTube profile or my cartoon YouTube profile. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the image or we're going to duplicate the image. So it's control J for Windows and command J if you're on Mac or Apple. You want to make sure this layer is selected, which which is your new, your new duplicated layer. And then you click on the quick selection tools over here and then just draw out your image. So just highlight the image, try to get it, get it as accurate as you can. So like for the hair, as you can see right there, it's because it's too close. The color is too close to the background. So you want to hold down alt, which will give you a negative selection tool. And with that, you can, you know, cancel out points. So you can zoom in with Z or Z, which will get you in closer so you can see better. Make sure to switch back to the quick selection tool once you're done with that. I'm just going to try to get it as accurate as possible. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. The next thing you're going to want to do is you want to create a mask by clicking on this icon right here, which just creates a mask. And then you want to cl uh, right click on the mask right here and select a mask. So you're going to make sure you have your radius up at around two. It's what I usually would put mine at. And then you have your smoothness up to about 30, somewhere around there, 30, 32, 34, 34 is a good one. And then your contrast, you want to bring up to 30, somewhere around here too. So 35, 36. Once you have that done, next thing you want to do is uh, hit OK. Once you have that done, next thing you want to do is create a solid color. To do that, you come down here and you click on this icon and then choose solid color right here. So you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to make mine white, just, just plain white. So you want something that contrasts your image. So and then I'm going to go OK. So I'm going to move this image underneath this layer. Just grab it and pull it downwards. That way it's not, you know, my image is now in front. So as you can see right now, my image is in front. So this is the image I'm going to be cartoonifying as that's just what I'm calling it. Next thing we want to do right now is we want to grab the pen tool right here. So you grab this, make sure you have this on shape and your fill to whatever color you want. So I'm just going to choose, I don't know, lime green, bright, just something bright. You can choose whatever you want. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to choose red. Red is bright enough for me. So I'm just going to choose red. Your stroke, you want to make sure you have no stroke selected. Once you have that done, the next thing you want to do is you want to draw. You want to go from here and just draw across. Just draw across right there. Just draw across the image right there. So as soon as you have this done, next thing you want to do is you want to convert all three objects into one smart object. So you select all three layers by holding down control and selecting all three layers and then right clicking and select and convert the smart object. So once you have it converted to a, sm a smart object, we can now work on it. So you duplicate this layer twice. So the next thing you do is you, you turn off these two layers. You only want to work with layer one to start. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to name this cartoon. We're going to name the second one lines and the last one effect doesn't matter what you name it. I just like to name my layers different things just so I don't get confused along the way. I'm going to start with cartoon and we're just we're just going to go to filter, go to filter gallery over here under the artistic folder. You want to choose uh, poster edges. You want to make sure this is selected. It's going to move the image right here so we can see something uh, related to what we're going to be working with. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your edge thickness is zero. Your edge intensity is also zero and your posterization is two. You can always mess around with these values, but you know, I just just go with these values, these preset values and just work with them because they always worked out pretty well for me. So and then you click OK. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to filter again. And this time you want to go to sharpen and then go to unsharp mask. So once you get here, next thing you want to do is you want to bring the amount here to 90. Your radius, you want this to be at five and your threshold, you want to be at 10. And there you go. So once you have that done, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to filter and then you go to stylize right here. It should be here and you go to oil paint and we change these values. So stylization, you want to change that to four and then we change this to three and we change this to 0.1, the scale. And then everything else you want to make sure is at zero. So zero, zero, zero. So four, three, zero point one, zero, zero, zero. You can pause the video, 
to get these values and next thing you're gonna do is click okay so once you have that done you want you're gonna go back to filter again for the last time go to sharpen unsharp mask and this time we're gonna reduce the value to 60 on the amount we're gonna keep the radius at 5 and the threshold we're gonna put at 5 at this point then we're gonna click okay as you can see now we have a little bit of a, a cartoon texture on our image now so if, if you took it off you would notice that the next thing we want to do is we, we just want to we're just gonna hide this here and then we're gonna open up or activate the second layer which is lines so we're gonna go to filter again and then we're gonna go back to filter gallery and this time we're gonna change the ad we're gonna keep the edge thickness at zero change the edge in th intensity to three and then we're gonna change the posterization to six so let's see what the image looks like so this is basically what kind of what I was expecting because I've been working with uh, different kind of images and I usually would just go with this right so you click OK and then you see what we have here it's uh, just kind of some kind of you know it looks almost like just particles you know on on the image so next thing you want to do is you want to go to filter again and this time we're gonna go back to stylize and then oil paint and once we're here we're gonna keep the values the same so four three zero point one zero 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 and just click OK once you have that done the next thing you want to do is you want to change this to overlay so it overlays the image and then the opacity it's not too dominant you can change this to 20 to between 20 to 25 is what I would usually go between depending on the image so I'm just gonna go with 20 23 on this one and just we're gonna stay at that and we're pretty much done with that layer so for the final layer the effect layer we're just gonna go to filter and then other then high pass so we want to apply a high pass filter so you want to bring this down to around two when it's not all up you know in your face like right around there somewhere somewhere around here when it's you know almost faded off the screen that's what you're kind of you know going for and just click OK so once you have this done you want to change this to overlay as well and that's basically it for that as well so next thing you want to do to make this image pop is you want to have you want to add levels so levels is something you know you can just use to increase the brightness and darkness of different points so let's say you wanted to darken just the bottom right there and you know brighten up the top you see what I'm doing there and this have like a bright you know YouTube profile picture so I'm just gonna start with this you know reduce the brightness just a tidbit and then we're just gonna go ahead and add another one so next thing we're gonna add is vibrance and saturation so this will just increase the coloring of the of the whole image you know you just want this just gives you more saturation or less saturation depending on what you're looking for so if you want more of a cartoony you know vibe you increase the saturation so I'm just gonna leave it around somewhere here and then the next thing you want to add is a color lookup table so a color lookup table basically just adds you know intensity to the whole thing so there's already some some preloaded on on here so we're just gonna be looking for three strip that look and then it just get it ready it, it basically complements the skin so you can just reduce the opacity of this so it's not too strong as well put it around 20 leave that there so right now we're basically done you know making our image into a cartoon the next thing we're gonna do is go to file and export this image so there it is you're gonna want to make sure you're exporting as a JPEG you know quality 100% just keep the settings you know pretty similar to this and just export so we're gonna keep this on my desktop and save it right there I'm just gonna save it as some random name next thing we want to do is we want to convert this or use this as our uh, image for our profile picture so you want to open a new image that we've just you know created this is it right here so we want to cut this out we want to cut out what we need off this image so what you're gonna have to do is go grab the quick selection tool over here and just cut out what you what you need so I'm gonna cut out the head you can just cut out the head if that's what you're just looking for so I'm trying to see if I can just get just the bot the whole body you know I don't need the shorts in there so I'm just gonna uh, negatively select here and just delete that part like that that's what I'm looking for I'm just trying to grab the top part of this image and use this as my profile picture so once you're satisfied with cutting out whatever part of the image you're gonna be using for your YouTube profile you right click on the image you and then you click select and mask then as you can see it outlines what you're gonna be working with and it's gonna basically delete the rest of what's on there and then you can just put the radius to about two smoothness to about 27 right there feather just a little bit of feather as well some contrast and just go okay the next thing you want to do is you want to layer via copy so you right click and then you go and click click layer via copy right here so now you have the image that you need and just the background so what you want to do is you want to create one more new layer so you go to a, a file new and go ahead and change the width to 800 by 800 this is YouTube's specified dimension you know for uploading profile pictures so you create one of these and you can change the background to whatever you want you can put some you know something crazy you can put some texture on it but I'm just gonna leave it this I'm just gonna leave it at black right now or I might I might actually I'm just gonna change it to gold I'm gonna change this background to gold because it basically complements my style so something yellow or gold so in order to change the background color you want to make sure that this uh, color right here is whatever color you want it to be and just click OK and then go to edit and then go to 
to fail and then choose OK. It changes the background automatically. Then you can go over back to this layer and grab this one, the one that we had just cut out and just place it on this spot right here. Now you can see it's oversized. So we're just going to hit Control T or Command T to resize the image. As you can see right here, I just, I'm just resizing the image. So I can pretty much work with this, but if you wanted to center your image, here's a little tip you could do is you just want to click on this image. Make sure you have this layer selected, whatever you're trying to center and then control or command a to select the entire layer and then go up top here. This aligns the image horizontally and this aligns the image vertically, but I'm not going to be using the vertical one. So I'm just going to control Z, which is just going to undo what I just did and just leave it at this. This is exactly what I'm going for. So I'm just going to export this. So we're going to go over here and click export and then export as you're going to see how this is going to look on YouTube. Just wait for it. So you want to change the format to JPEG as well. And then width and height 800 by 800 and then you export. We're just going to name this YT cartoon logo. Then we're going to save it to our desktop. Now we're going to go onto my YouTube page and try to see how it looks. OK, so here we are right now. We're just going to edit our profile picture to head over here and then we're just going to change it. So we're going to upload photo right here and we're going to look for it. So it's on my desktop. So I'm going to grab it right there and then just grab this image and once it's on here you just click done because it's already the dimensions that YouTube you know recommends so you just don't need you don't need to crop it anymore it's just gonna do its thing and align itself so that's basically the logo I'm talking about as you can see right there you know you basically can do whatever you want you know tune the settings and you know to whatever you're looking for just move most of those sliders back and forth a little bit or you know a little less or a little more and you should be fine but if uh, you made it to this point in the video make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel if you're looking for a video on how to make a youtube gaming thumbnail then make sure to click on the video on the screen right now and i will catch you guys in the next one midas is out